one, two, one, two. Testing one, two. Okay, is that happening? Okay. Um, so, yeah, will I just go at 115 then? Yeah. Okay. Hi folks, uh, this is Stuart Murdoch here from Bell and Sebastian, from Glasgow, from my little kitchen. And uh, it's slightly disconcerting because it says live, so I hope you're there. Um, obviously I can't, I can't really speak to you or reach out to you or see you, but um, I'm assuming you're there. And, you know, this is a little bit makeshift. Normally, I don't know if you've been to a meditation before, especially if you've gone to a, a Buddhist meditation, then there's there's quite often a, a shrine or something um, that relaxing to look at. And all I had was my kitchen, um, this little kitchen. So I, 
I got um I, I, I brought the boys in from the jam um to uh well I figure we're all in a bit of a jam just now. I can feel your groan from here. Um yeah, so yeah, we got we got Weller, bit of wisdom from from the old mod. And um so yeah, this is this is the little kitchen actually that I I I'm lucky enough to to have to do my writing in so my kids won't burst in because it's it's separate from them maybe you would like my kids to burst in because that would be that would certainly that would be quite amusing but uh, I assure you that this is a peaceful space and uh, I just want to thank you for coming to the space for for making this effort because you know, if it feels good, and and hopefully, um, hopefully you you'll get something out of this. So all we're going to do is I'm I'm just going to chat for a minute longer, and then we're we're going to try a um, we're going to try a guided meditation. I thought that the subject of the meditation today could be, or uh, just thankfulness, really. I mean, you can meditate on anything. Um, Meditation is just focusing your mind on a, a virtuous object, and I think gratitude or, or thankfulness is a is a good place to to start today. I think we're all, you know, all of us that are um, being trapped in, or well, not trapped in, but you know what I mean. Um, we we suddenly realize how. Um, you know how much we rely on other people maybe we've taken this for granted we take our freedom for granted so much and we you know we swan into supermarkets and we we press a button and things arrive at our door but now we realize perhaps wow where's this food coming from who's growing this food who's supplying the water that i'm still relying on who's you know, working, you know, building the wind turbines that works my electricity, um, all these kind of things. I think maybe we're super aware just now. And, and then obviously our health service and our various health services around the world and the people that are, are working to keep us healthy and putting the, themselves at risk as well. So, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of you, if you you know, some of you maybe still are working and your jobs are essential, but and I'm sure a lot of you who aren't will wish you could be sort of part of this this effort. But um, either way, let's just take a, a few minutes out to to be thankful to them, to those those people. So we're going to imagine them in a few minutes you know I, I i mean it's not just me that's saying this i even heard jeremy corbyn in, in the british parliament yesterday saying exactly the same thing and i had to agree with him that we're nothing without each other we're absolutely interconnected and when we come out of this thing i just i hope that we can take that feeling forward and not forget how reliant we are on each other um so maybe you're thinking well it's okay thanking other people but what what about me is it you know what's in it for me um but i, I think I, I i can assure you that if we do this little if we do this thing and we hopefully find a calm space and at times like this and at any time i i would suggest that that's invaluable finding a calm mind finding a peaceful mind at any time is just amazing um it's it's an amazing thing it's such an amazing gift to be able to recalibrate your mind because we're we're stimulated all the time we're always putting information in and obviously you know right now you might be caught in with 
with family and it's extra stressful. So to find a, a peaceful space uh, to switch off for five or 10 minutes, it's better than sleep. I mean, even when you're sleeping, you, 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 your brain can be running riot with your dreams. But, you know, when you're meditating, if you can calm your mind a little bit and do it deliberately, that's quite unique. That's a quite unique way to, to rest, to rest your mind. And then the amazing thing about it as well, it's so empowering because maybe, you know, if this is your first time trying it and, you know, afterwards you think, well, that actually helped a little bit for, for a moment. I, I felt like I was in a, a peaceful place. Um, well, if it helped a, a toty bit, um, then you could do it again and it could help a little bit more. And that's just you. That's just you deciding to, to make the decision to, to calm down for a bit and look for a bit of peace. And that's there all the time. Um, you know, what a resource behind all the madness and the worry and the out of controlledness of the world the most important thing is that you have control of your mind if you want it and with a bit of practice you can go to a you can go to a peaceful space is that right paul weller agrees so um yeah, so let's maybe let's maybe get into this um, very briefly. We're going to do a little bit of breathing meditation, get you in the space. Then we're going to imagine somebody that we we're thankful to, maybe somebody we're close to, and we're going to think about them for a few minutes, and then we're going to imagine what you might call a neutral person, somebody who you don't really know very well to talk to, but just somebody that you maybe had some contact with in the last week or so that could be somebody who works in a shop or somebody delivering your groceries or just someone uh, that you're thankful to. So that's the summary. Um, so if you can, let's get in a a comfortable position. Uh, sorry, my chair's squeaking a bit, but I promise I'm not going to move. Um, so sitting up, if possible, and with a straight back is good. Um, And just start to bring your thoughts inwards. Close your eyes if you like. You can keep your eyes open a little bit if you want to have some light coming in. Because after all, we want to keep your mind active. We don't just want to doze off. You want to be relaxed, but still focused. So bring your thoughts inwards. And just try and let all your activities, maybe some of your anxieties. Just let that buzz flow away. Let 
I don't mind if it it doesn't go away immediately. Maybe just keep trying to uh, just let it flow away. And we're going to put our focus now on our breath, which is the easiest thing. I don't mean to, for you to change the way you're breathing, just, just observe your breath. Feel the slightly cooler air coming in. And feel the warmer air on the end of your nose as you breathe out. So again, if other thoughts come back into your head, don't feel like you've got to push them out the way, just, just keep coming back to the breath. And once more, just feel the, the cool air coming in. The warmer air flowing out. And with it, your worries. Let go of your preoccupations. Any sickness too. Just let that flow out.
So now we're in a good space. I want you to imagine a person, maybe somebody quite close to you, a friend or someone in your family, or maybe they're your teacher or someone you you feel grateful to just bring them into your mind and and let's have a mind of gratitude towards them let's wish them the best and thank them just for who they are. Let's do that for a minute or so. We can thank them for looking out for us, looking after us. So we're definitely wishing this person some love. Okay, that's great. We're in a good space. So let's move on to a, a different person. What we might call a neutral person. Somebody who helps us out. Maybe they might be the person who picks up our rubbish once a week or the guy that comes to fix the boiler, or the woman in the shop around the corner, just somebody you sort of know casually, but you're thankful to them, maybe even your, your doctor or a nurse. You'd like to wish them the best.
will take a minute or so to do that. This is so good for you as well. This is a holiday from your, from yourself. When you're thinking about other people, it just gives you a break from all your normal self-obsessing. Okay, so finally, we're going to move our thoughts out towards the wider world. Now I feel like we're connected just now, and if you can just aim your heart in the direction of the whole, whole world for a minute. with a, a mind of gratitude to everyone else. After all, they're laboring to keep you alive. You would be nothing without everyone else. Okay, we're just going to finish up, but 
I'd like you to think any peaceful thoughts that you've had or any little bit of peace that you might have found in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Maybe just wrap that up and stick it in your pocket and we can we can dedicate that that peace to the whole planet because we definitely made something real during the meditation Now, if you want to slowly come out of the meditation, open your eyes. Thank you very much for participating in the in in my first go at this. Um, maybe we'll do it again. If you have any ideas about what you'd like to meditate about, you could just send them to the Facebook page, and I'll I'll check them out. Um, I'd like quite like to do oh well I'll, I'll tell you next time you know that we're going to do it but yeah we can we can maybe do one in the evening sometime and find a really peaceful place to go to sort of wind down but uh, enjoy enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and stay stay well and stay happy I hope okay all right, bye for now.